I bet I'll meet the same farmer. There was a farmer. He said, oh, if you, do you want to go to war, you have to go that way. So, I wouldn't have come this way this morning. If I'd done it in reverse, I would have ended up on the right route that I wanted to do. It's very confusing, really. At least I know this route. Good job I was familiar with that. That's the good thing about visiting and trying different little little things and you um, build up your knowledge of an area. But farmers do have a habit of changing boundaries, putting up fences, letting little pathways overgrow. And it can change in a couple of years very easily. Well, it's supposed to be like this for another week. This is summer now, and really you have to make the most of it. I've done my, this will be my only tent experience for this year, because it was far too small, the tent. But I think I must have bought it because it weighed less. But I still feel it wasn't isn't my tent. I thought my tent had special guy ropes and clips but it was a long time ago I put it together I'd never used it so I don't know really it would be extremely naughty of somebody to swap now I met a woman this morning she had a 300 sole Van Gogh tent she picked hers up for eight quid from a car boot it's really good condition she also picked up this ginormous bean bag and she brought it with her to the campsite. Great big orange thing, I wonder what it was at first. But God, doesn't it look comfortable? Yeah. She has it in her garden at home and then she takes it with her camping. And she just falls asleep in it. It looks really, really comfortable. You can feel that heat now. I'm glad I'm over the side and I'm glad there's a breeze but there isn't one at the moment look the grass isn't moving up it's baking but I love to warm my bones I can't think of anything better than having baking hot bones we have to presume we go through here okay we have to presume it. Look at that scene. I've just walked sort of over that way, along and over there. If you go straight down there, you go into a comb which take you to the coastal path. It was a bit boggy up here, I've noticed. Well, so far the, the shoes are doing all right, really. I mean, they are very stiff still, and they 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 because they're slightly different shape to my old ones. They don't give my toes any space when going downhill. This is the first time they would have got muddy. Must be some sort of stream arriving here, mustn't there? Just here, making its way down to sea from the hills. Another lovely view. There's the acorn nut. And we should start seeing the Coleridge feather. The Coleridge walk, the Coleridge way. It, it, it greets us. It greets us in a minute. In fact, it, I think it links up with where I've come from or, or. Isn't this lovely look? A gauntlet of grasses. Saying, well, you better take your antihistamine this morning, Sheila. Later, Sheila, because we're going to make you sneeze a lot. Later. I know, 
but I love you all. Look at those lovely butterflies all dancing in the wind. Aren't they gorgeous? Lovely, isn't it? Little meadow butterflies. I don't know all their names anymore. I used to when I was a kid. They're accompanying me along here, dancing as we go. Do you know, I never met anyone last time I did this little route. Most people do the coastal path, you see, which is right down low. It's really gorgeous, mind. It really is. You see, I don't feel I've got the energy to do a lot tomorrow. But I did, I think I might do Selworthy. I'm thinking on those lines now. Uh, I'm thinking of uh, taking a gentle stroll over that way and, and maybe having something to eat over there if it's still open. There's a lovely church there. I don't mind going to revisit it. I don't fancy doing the coastal path. Not really. I've done it two years ago, it's not, and I've done it the year before that. We got to pass two farms yet. Just I hope the dogs are friendly. Right out in the sticks they are these farms. Now I'm walking probably slower than I did two years ago. I have slowed up. Really have. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. The farmer was doing this field a minute ago. Isn't it? The where the crown of those trees is, there's some sort of Roman evidence of Roman settlement or fort up there. I did want to do it, but I just hadn't got round to it. I wonder how those people are doing on the coastal path. I mean, they might have finished it. Some people are very, very fit. They might, they might, might finish it or near the end now. Yeah, good. Well, they haven't done the loop I've done, see? I've done a big loop. And I haven't really deviated much. Obviously, it wasn't my fault if the path ran out. They put barbed wire up. And they didn't cut any grass. Now, we've got an old sign here. One says... Limuth. One says... Cullbone! Don't say how long, how far though, does it? Don't say how far. See, there's a path there. You never know, I might have had to have come through here somewhere. Another big field. Oh, feel that breeze. Feel that breeze, everyone. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, listen to the feel that. And the skies. I really love it. My Georgia lives over this way. Well, watch it. She likes the countryside. I, I used to take her with me walking. She she did develop strong legs. Weak ankles, I think she said she had. I'm keeping this rolling for now. Because basically, I've done this before. Not two years ago. It was either 2017 or 2018, I don't know. It feels more like 2017. It feels longer ago. More like five years, yeah. Well, in five years, you've got to imagine, I've aged five years. I am fitter in many ways, though, believe me. But um, I would put it down to that jab. It made me tired for some reason when I had that jab. Straight away. I started nodding off in sleep and all sorts. I wasn't very impressed with that. That Covid jab they gave me, that last one. I'm a bit reluctant to have a fourth. I am. 
I don't mind having the flu jab. I reckon... Oh, I don't know. Anyway, we're plodding along. And I am plodding. And I've got a long, long way to go. But for some reason I don't care. I'm going to have something to eat at Porlock Weir or Porlock. I might, if, if I don't get anything in a place, I'm going to buy a micro microwave meal. I'd have to eat it with a spoon though. Because I haven't brought any utensils apart from two teaspoons. <sighs> it will start getting nippy. Um, I don't know what the time is. I'm going to look after I've passed through this farm. I'll look for the time. I've got no idea what it is. It was just after 12, I think, when I was at St. Mary's Church. Or, it feels like two or three hours ago now. And now we've got to pass through this. Well, they, 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 they've got to keep it safe for walkers, haven't they? It is a route. It is a route. Lovely farm in the middle of nowhere. I've got no idea if there's dogs. Smells of dung here. Lovely though, right out in the middle of nowhere. Bloody beautiful, isn't it? over there. Little black roof. It's unusual, isn't it? Right, we've got another sign here, we've got Colbo. Two miles. Eight to Limus. No right of way. No right of way. No, we're not going up there anyway. Going this way. Yeah, it's a lovely little farm though, isn't it? See what I mean? Turn off a minute. Right, so we've left the farm behind. Can't remember what it's called now. And we've got to follow another lovely little bridle path. Links different farms together. Back there where there was the junction where you could go up a little bit of a small road to join the A39 and cross over it. And then you'd end up on that nose hill. Um, Basically, though, I um, I didn't. I didn't want to walk along that road when it ran out of where for me to go. I didn't know what it's going to do.
It's just nice and cool. I'm going to take my hat off for a minute. This is nice and cool here. Now, of course, when I did um, this walk before, it was September, so it got dark earlier. So I was more concerned, but to now I don't really have to rush. It doesn't matter if I get back to the campsite at 10 o'clock. I don't want to sit around like I did yesterday. I've looked forward all day yesterday to this walk though. And I've also, you know, it's just been really great really. Been able to come back and do it again. You know, it's really nice to be able to do that. I've just taken my hat off for a minute while I'm walking in the shade. Oh, it's beautiful. I gotta go across. I gotta pass another farm in a minute. They do bed and breakfast there. Um, what I remember, there were some dogs, but they they were collies. They didn't budge. They didn't budge. One might have been a rock fire, I'm not sure, but I just had to brave it. They know this is a walking route. It's like going back in time. You can just sort of imagine the old farmers, the people with their ponies. Maybe they even have a pony and trap along here. They might have leveled it out more. before a big A39 came along. I don't know, I think the A39 is a very old road, by the way, but um, it takes you back in time when you do these sort of walks. You know, it also takes me back to childhood, being out in the summer, in the, in the sunshine, grass, sunshine, enjoying the countryside. It's always been the same really. <sighs> always been the same. I've always loved nature. Always loved <sighs> plants. It's funny, bits of it are not sticking out there exactly, but I know I must have done it. But I remember that bit back there, going through that gate. But this is lovely, isn't it? A bit of shade, look. The weather's certainly looking after me. I mean, I half want to go back tomorrow, but I think oh, I ought to make the most of it, really. You know? This is gorgeous, I know. I'm gonna stop here and turn off, and I'm gonna have my fruit juice. There's a stream down there. Total peace. Over and out. <laughs>